Hi and welcome everyone. This is the first of a series of tutorials on um, developing Java web applications using JSPs and servlets. Um, this tutorial is aimed at someone who has uh, previous experience developing Java applications but they are new to uh, web applications alone. So uh, it, it assumes that you have a little bit of Java programming experience. Um, the first tutorial, which is this one, starts off with uh, setting up the uh, development environment on your uh, desktop. And uh, it includes setting up the IDE, uh, which I'm going to use as Eclipse, and also setting up the server, which is Tomcat. Um, installing these two, uh, you know, the Eclipse and uh, Tomcat is fairly straightforward. You just head over to the uh, websites and uh, download the latest versions. I am using uh, Eclipse 3 and uh, Tomcat 7 because that's the, those are the latest versions uh, as of today. But you could, uh, you know, you could ideally d download the newer versions if you have uh, newer ones available and run through these tutorials. So, um, what I suggest is uh, downloading and extracting the the two downloads into a folder called uh, Java and you don't really need to do anything else just extracting and running the uh, files should do. So I have uh, Eclipse and Tomcat both downloaded into this Java folder. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Eclipse directory and run the Eclipse executable. It's going to ask me for my workspace. I'm going to select the default. Okay, so here we have Eclipse open. Um, the first thing we need to do is set up Tomcat inside of Eclipse so that it's easier for you to start and stop the server as well as uh, deploy your code directly here. So in order to do that, you um, select the servers tab here and you s right click and select new server. You have a, a set of predefined um, server adapters. We are installing Apache Tomcat so we're going to expand the Apache node and uh, we have Tomcat version 7 so I'm going to select this. going to ask me for my Tomcat installation directory. So I'll say browse, go to my home directory, Java, Tomcat. I can select the JRE that I want uh, because Tomcat needs just a JRE, doesn't need a JDK to run. Uh, you can either go for the Workbench JRE or if you have any other uh, JDK installed on your machine, you can go for that. I would recommend going for the JDK that you've installed. Now, if you have any projects, it's going to ask you to configure them on the server. We haven't created any projects as of now, so this is blank. So you just say finish. So there you go, Tomcat is set up. You also see an entry in the package explorer tab here of the servers. It, it, you know, it treats it as a project. And if you expand this, you see all the Tomcat related XML files. We will leave all these at the default. The first thing we're going to do is try starting the server here. So I just right click on it and click start. Notice the console tab. It um, gets selected by default and uh, you can see that the Tomcat logs are being uh, displayed here. So um, now we see the last line of the log says the server startup in uh, so many milliseconds. So that means the Tomcat is up and running, as you can see here as well. So in order to test this, what we'll do is we'll open um, a browser window and access the default URL, which is localhost colon 8080. So there you can see the Tomcat web page is up. Now, what does this localhost 8080 mean? Localhost actually means the domain name, which is actually uh, the machine 
name on which the server is running since you are running it on your desktop and you are accessing it in the same uh, machine you can specify localhost which stands for uh, you know the same machine 8080 is the default port that tomcat uses in order to accept http uh, requests so this can be changed actually the the default value for any web uh, site is uh, 80 if if the value is 80 that means that you don't have to give the port number but tomcat uses the value of 8080 so you have to specifically mention 8080 here but as i said you can change this to some other port so if you change it to 80 then just http colon double slash localhost should do you should be able to get the get this page so this page is actually uh, the home page as you can see here this is a success message confirming that we have installed uh, tomcat successfully you get the tomcat version number here you also have a few other links for managing the tomcat instance so we'll not worry about that for now so um, we know that tomcat is up and running fine now there are a few um, common problems that you'd face when you uh, follow the steps here the first problem which is common is that uh, you know when you open eclipse you don't see a server tab sometimes so um, to get the server tab what you need to do is you need to go to the window menu and uh, show view so here are all the uh, commonly used tabs there are a few other tabs as well so you click on other because you don't see the server tab here so just go to other and uh, search for servers so you can you can click here and press ok then you will get the tab um, the other common problem which we face sometimes is um, when we are trying to test the um, the tomcat server so you've started it here you just said right click and then you did a start and then when you open the browser and you're trying to access localhost colon 8080 you might get a 404 page not found exception uh, that is again a common problem and that if you're facing that you need to follow these steps here so um, right click and click on properties so uh, when you click on properties you get the properties here you have uh, a location as workspace metadata click switch location so uh, you have the location as server slash tomcat server at localhost server so what this means is that uh, you are making the configuration over here, which is this one. So uh, what I do is I right click here, go to properties. I'm sorry about that. I just double click on this. Yeah, that's where that's what I was trying to do. So I double click on this and. Uh, here you have the configuration. Make sure you have this option selected. Use Tomcat installation. Uh, you might have this use workspace metadata option selected. Just make sure this option is selected and then press save or control S. So what happens is uh, why we get this error is that uh, if this option is selected, then it, uh, it changes the value of some of the Catalina variables that Tomcat uses. Uh, the the variable that has an impact here is the home uh, folder where Tomcat actually looks for uh, what to render when somebody is making a HTTP request. So uh, by default, it might take the Eclipse location, the Eclipse metadata location, which does not have uh, the you know the the greeting page here. So that that's the reason why you might you will see a 404. But then if you use the Tomcat installation, which is, uh, you know, the Java folder, which is this folder. So here you have web apps with predefined uh, web pages. So when you access Tomcat, it'll know what to serve and it'll serve this particular web page. So now we have uh, Tomcat set up and uh, up and running. In our next tutorial, we'll develop a simple web application.